State Al Hadi Anka, of course, representing the Honorable Minister of External Affairs, other members of National Council of Ministers, press of the international and national press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, for non state. Both the government and the entire people of Borna State are most delighted and greatly honored by this visit. Your Royal Highnesses, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it translates that friendship is embodied in our footsteps, which in effect means that the bonds of friendship are developed and cemented by exchanges of visits. Permit me to, to, permit, to permit, but permit me to brief you on Borno State. This state, Borno, is the largest of the 21 states of the Federation of Nigeria in terms of size with an area of 116,589 square kilometers. Through the federal government puts up a request for assistance to the British government. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> in our usual hospitality here at the Borno State, I, on behalf of the entire people of Borno State, wish to present this talking gift to His Highness. To remember his visit. This is our beloved state. I must thank you most warmly for your very kind welcome to your state and to the city of Maiduguri. We are both delighted, my wife and I, to have the opportunity of uh, becoming the latest in a line of British visitors to Borno, amongst whom have been some members of my own family, and of maintaining the ties that Britain has with the people of the state. I believe it was in 1902 that the first Briton arrived in Borno, then as a British military expedition intended to halt French military incursions and bolster the position of your traditional rulers. Our visit today, of course, I hasten to say, has no such aims. <laughs> it is particularly pleasing to find myself speaking to you close to the site of where that expedition made its original encampment and close to where some of those intrepid early British explorers lie buried. Having witnessed and experienced ourselves in the last two days the uh, extremities 
of the climate in this part of the world, how they managed in those days without air conditioning, beggars the imagination. We are delighted that in our short visit to Nigeria, we have this opportunity to travel to the northeast of the country and to see something of the people and way of life of Borno. I'm encouraged to hear that our Voluntary Service Overseas Organization is able to provide a number of volunteers who work locally and are involved in educational and medical projects of one kind or another. I do greatly admire, I must say, the dedication and enthusiasm displayed by these remarkable volunteers. This is of considerable assistance, I know, to both our countries through the detailed expertise that they bring to you and then the broadening experience that they return home with. Such appointments can only strengthen our links and broaden both our people's cultural experiences. I'm also very pleased to hear that some British companies are actively involved in the area and that there is a likelihood of British Council assistance being agreed in the near future. Speaking as vice patron of the British Council, I couldn't be more delighted. So, Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, let me thank you all again on behalf of my wife and myself for the welcome that you have given us. Thank you.